Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who's given us this day. A God has given us the beauty of the sunshine uh, and the mountains and the valleys and the trees and the seas and all that we have to enjoy. A God who's given us to be to you because he loves you. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Psalm 55, verse 22. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fail. You know, as I read these words, I'm just reminded of how much God loves us and how much we can depend on him. Now, I know that some may say that, hey, well, he does because people go through bad stuff. And that's a fail. And it's not necessarily a fail. Um, God can use the circumstances of our life to strengthen us, uh, to draw us closer to him, to transform our lives, to be more like Christ. Uh, he can also use those in the lives of others. So the difficulties and the trials we go through are not necessarily a failure. At the same time, when we're not obedient to him and we do things, when we basically sin in life, when, you know, willful disobedience, uh, there's sometimes consequences that go with that. And so oftentimes I think we want to place our um, failings upon the Lord or our shortcomings upon him as something that, he, that he's not keeping his word true. But the fact is, is that when we serve the living Almighty God, um, he is there for us and he doesn't let us fail. Uh, and he, he doesn't fail to keep his promises on top of it. And so when we serve the Lord, even though things may not uh, be going well uh, or the way we want them to, it doesn't mean that God isn't still in charge and isn't carrying us and helping us along because he is. Uh, God loves all of us. God loves all of his creation. Uh, for those that don't know him or have, have not chosen him, uh, he's calling them back to himself. For those that have, uh, like you, if you're probably watching this day, you probably already have, God is continually working to draw us near to himself, uh, to, to build our relationship, to make us ever closer. Uh, and God wants to use the circumstances in our lives to, to build his kingdom. And I don't know about you, but since Jesus paid the price, since he put it all on the line, since he gave his life for me, I'll do anything for him. Uh, I, I love God that much. And so uh, I want you to as well. I, I hope that you can see how God is protecting you and lifting you up. And when you're struggling, God is right there beside you. Uh, he won't let you fail. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder from the Psalms that when we are obedient to you, that you don't let us fail. Uh, that the shortcomings, that the things of this life, we may not understand, but you are always right there. You're always watching over us. Uh, you're always protecting us. You're always walking beside us. And even though other people uh, make bad choices, either other people choose evil uh, over good, uh, Father, you are right there to, to help us and to guide us and to be there with us. And so, Lord, thank you for all that you're about to do. Thank you for this day and the opportunities we have. And may your love and your spirit not only fill us up, but may it overflow into the lives of others. And may you receive all the glory. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do today uh, and all weekend long. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. I hope you have a wonderful day today. It is Friday. That means Sunday's on the way. Hope you're planning to be in service somewhere on Sunday. Uh, I don't know about you. I don't go to church uh, because I have to. I go because I want to be with God's people, because I want to see and feel his presence and be uh, rejuvenated uh, through all that's offered in the church service. If you don't currently have a church service of your own, we invite you to join us at Everett First Church of Nazarene uh, here in Everett, 2502 Lumber Avenue. If you're not in Everett, uh, join us online on our Facebook Live page, Everett First Church of Nazarene. Either way, we'd love to worship with you. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you soon.